All right. Uh, this is another K bucks questions for uh SBM MF two thousand eighteen. So yeah, I decided to make a short video for these questions because so many of you actually sent me uh this question. So and then I check it out. Um, yeah, I find this question is a bit tricky. One of the reason I find this question is very tricky is like the question doesn't give you the radius, and the question doesn't give you the center point. So yeah, so you have to figure it out by yourself. So let's go through the question together. So the Ma the Mathematics Society of SPM Muhiba organized a competition to design a logo for the society. So the di the diagram three actually show a circular logo. So the circular here, I I will assume this is a perfect circle. So this is the reason why they use a circular logo designed by Amar. So the three blue color regions are congruent. So congruent means they are exactly the same. Mean this three blue color one is exactly the same. So it's so it is the parameter is given that the parameter of the blue color region is twenty pi. So therefore, at least I know something here is the parameter here. The parameter here, basically this parameter all plus together should equal to 20 pi. So parameter for, for blue color region is equal to 20 pi. Okay, this is the first information given here. All right, so right now, how can we find the parameter? This is another question. Okay, so what I will do is I try to, I, I trying to see I try to see whether I can get any sector from here and then I try to figure out how we do that. So assume this is a center point. All right, so this line is the radius, isn't it? So you should know we have three radius here and this three radius actually, they like, because one circle, the angle will be 360, right? So if I divide equally into three different sector, you should be able to see sector A, sector B, and sector C. If I divide into three different sector here, you should be able to know the angle here is 120 for each, right? So therefore, I have 180 for each of them. So right now, what about I, I, I divide again? Because just now I have the 180, uh, 120, right? So I make another half of the 120. So you realize, you realize here is over here is 60 degree, isn't it? And here will be 60 degree. And these two line is the same length, right? So if I draw one more line over here, because this is 60, and we know these two angle is the same, and then both of the angle have to be 60 and 60 means what mean this is the equilateral triangle mean the three of the length of this triangle actually are the same length all right so if this is equilateral triangle then i can call this one as a center point then then you can actually you are able to see a sector if you can't see maybe i just make it look nicer then you should be able to see the sector so just now we already proved this length and this length is the same. So therefore, I'm going to call this one as my radius since this one is from the center to here. So I will assume this is a center point. So I draw if I draw one line here, you should be able to see we have a sector. Yeah, we have a sector look like this. This and an R here. So I'm going to draw out a sector, give you some idea. So yeah, the sector should look like this. All right, this is a sector and then I draw these two lines as R, right? So, therefore, and then because just now we know each of the angle here is 60 degree, right? 60, 60, 60. So therefore, if I want to find the art length, we have the formula for art length, right? S equals to R theta. But we know art length, we cannot use degree. We have to change it to the pi. So the 60 here, I'm going to change it into the pi over 3. Because pi divided by 3 is equal to 60 degree. So therefore, therefore, I can get one of the length here. So one of the length here. So, so right now, the parameter of the 
blue color region. Actually, we have how many art length combined here. So if you see carefully, you actually you have six of it, like one, let, uh, maybe let me just highlight like one art length, two, three, four, five, six. So you actually combine by the six art length here. So therefore, what I will do over here is I will say six, the art length, because each of the art length is the same. So you just need to find one of it and then you multiply six, then it will be, you will get the uh, correct answer. So R theta, my R is unknown, and my theta will be pi over, six, pi over three. All right, so should equals to 20 pi. So if I want to solve this equation, it will be very easy, right? Because this one and this one are cut, I left two here. Pi divide pi for both sides, then R will equals to 20 divided by two. R is 10 centimeter. Right, so because I guess the first part of the question, they actually asked us to find the radius in cm to the nearest integer. So I guess it should be 10 and this is integer. So normally we have the sentence like this. It actually, is, it might be a decimal, but I guess in this case, it will be just 10. Right, and the next part, they say find the area of the yellow color region. So we, right now, if you want to find the yellow color region over here, so what we want to do is, we need to actually find one of the segment. This is what we call segment. So if you couldn't see that, I'm going to cut it half here. Yeah, this is what we call segment here. So just now, we have a sector over here, isn't it? We have a sector here. So right now, over here we have how many this kind of segment? Same thing, we have one, two, three. If I separate into half here, you should know we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, isn't it? So I have six segments. So I would plus all the segments together, and then I will use a triangle to minus my blue color region. So right now, what I want to do is, since I know the R equals 10, I'm going to find the six re uh I'm going to find the six segment over here. So over here, if I want to find an area of segment, okay, this is how I will do here. Okay, so th this one is six. This one is six. So how to find area of segments? Yeah, we have the formula for area of segment, isn't it? Area of segment will be half r squared theta minus sine theta. All right, this is how we get the area of segments over here. So basically we have 10 square, theta will be pi over three minus sine pi over three. And you must be very careful here because over here they give you the pi is this value. So later when I type into the calculator, I will submit a 3.142 into my pi here to get the exactly value they want. All right, so then I will just type this thing in my calculator. So I will write, uh, make sure your calculator is in radian. So 3.142, which is the pi. Oh, yeah. So we have 3.142 divided by 3, and then minus sine bracket 3.142 over 3. And then multiply, this is 100 divided by 2, is multiplied by 50. Yeah, then you should be able to get a quite nice answer here. Half r squared theta minus sine theta. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so when you multiply everything, you should be able to get a very nice answer, which is 9.062. Okay, so this is one of the segments. We have six of them, so basically we need to, we need to later. So we will mount. So I will find the total, uh, blue color region. Okay, equals to six multiplied nine point zero six two. All right, so uh, times six. Now I get the total is fifty four point three seven cm square. 
Alright, then the next thing, what I want to do next is, I basically, not right now I find a blue color region already, I want to find an area of triangle. Okay, triangle, basically, there's few ways you can do, but of course the easiest way is, since you know the radius is 10 here, so this radius is 10 here, and you know the angle on between is 120. You know this is triangle, isn't it? This one should be the triangle. So this yellow color triangle actually is formed by three of the triangle. Do you see that? So three of the triangle. So basically I just find one of the area of triangle and multiply three. Then I can get the total area of triangle here. So this is what I will do to find the area of triangle. So I'm going to erase this one to give you some idea. So, okay. Formula for triangle is half A, B, sine C. Isn't it? So therefore, I will just find one of it first. So area of triangle. So equals to 1 over 2. My A is 10. B is 10, right? So 10 times 10. And sine 120 degree. So you should be able to get the correct answer. But over here, you need to change back your calculator back into the degree. Because I use 120, which is degree. So you should get uh, 43.3. Alright, so therefore, the yellow color region, which is what they want. This is one of the triangle here, right? One of the small triangle. We know we actually have three of it. So it will be 3, 43.3 minus the, uh, yeah, the blue color region, total blue color region here, 54.3. 37. So you just use your calculator, then you will get the final answer. Yeah, you will get the final answer, which is 75.53 cm square. Alright, so this kind of question is a, a little bit confused. If you're not sure how to do it, yeah, it, it might be a little bit hard for you. But if you know how to do it, shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, anyways, I hope you do learn something from this video. Alright, so yeah, this is how I will do this kind of k question. See you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.